Good morning, good morning. It finally happened. You know, you saw the salmon and stuff I was fishing while I was prepping a huge batch of stuff to smoke. And the Traeger crapped on me. Let's check it. So I got the Timberline 1300, fairly new model. But I'm the type of guy who does zero maintenance. Every now and then I'll clear out the pot. As you can see in here, the pot's all rusted out, which is whatever, still worked. But there's a little auger thing that spins out all the, all the um, pellets and that thing's jammed, which could be fixed. I fixed it before with a little hammering. Um, but as you see, it's just time. It's time for New Horizons. So here, one sec. Oh, wow, boom. I think I outdid myself here. The new Traeger Timberline XL is an insane beast. I already smoked some salmon on it. Now we got some few uh, New York steaks. This thing is gnarly. If you if you've been following me for a while, I do these things called like unicorn scabs. And no, I don't look like Andrew Tatum or what. Everybody keeps saying like, "Hey, you're the broke Andrew Tate." I don't know. Maybe definitely the broke uglier version because he's hot. But I did some smoked salmon, got some ribeye. We got our meter probes that connect directly to that. They're just like a. Oh, I'm losing heat directly to it. Um, to monitor your meat Bluetooth wise, you don't gotta be running any cables through here. It's got a uh, induction heater or or induction stovetop or whatever. So I could heat up this pan and instantly take it off and touch it, and it's nothing. It uses magnets, and all it does is heat up the pan. It's pretty gnarly. So when it comes to throwing stuff on there, and then you put them on here to sear them. Yeah, it's got this accessory. Um, rail basically you can put any type of accessories you want on like this is for paper towels they got one for like uh, your little basket to hold all your crap this is an accessory your little shelf um, you know you got a couple shelves down here this old piece POS uh, you know it wasted so much storage down below there's nothing down below this actually has storage you can store all your crap I can confirm the smoked salmon was bomb. It cooked a lot more evenly. Like that one on the sides was always really hot. Um, well, this one seems, you know, I had salmon all over the base of it, and it seems to cook it uh, very evenly. Um, it's got sense. I always forget, you know, I'll be cooking, like doing an eight hour smoke with like a pork butt, and I. I'm like, what the hell? Why is it not working? It's because, you know, you run out of pellets. This has a sensor for the pellets. It'll tell you when they're getting low. You know, it's 100%, 80%, 50%. You know, it'll give you the whole rundown of uh, of where you're at pellet-wise. It's got a bunch of little lights everywhere. There's a light inside when you open it. I'm not going to open it again. But um, I kind of outdid myself. Not the cheapest thing in the world. But the, the big catch was, so my father-in-law, he works at the local hardware store, 20% off. If not, not be, he has to, be, it has to be like a family member in the household. So since they live with us and they're going to be living with us, we're building a shop out over here. Since they live with us right now and probably for a long time, I get my, and it's like the number one store I shop at anyway. So it works out 20% off, save, I save like six or 700 bucks with this and the accessories. Um, but I can't, I don't, you know, I don't have a long-term review. It's going well so far. Um, I'm trying to get rid, like we got Wade, look, we got this barbecue, got this little mini guy, this little Weber, which is actually an awesome barbecue. We got the green egg back here. I got way too many barbecues. I'm trying to cut it down to one. I have a sous vide inside, which, which I have a little sous vide gun, which is a torch. And actually the torch, the, the Traegers don't get super hot with a nice sear. So I'll, I'll, I started pulling stakes off the Traeger and torching with my sous vide gun. And ever since that worked out really well, the green egg's been kind of obsolete. Obviously, I don't really touch this thing back here much. The green egg's awesome. 
for like getting really hot and searing stuff, but now I got I got a sear sous vide gun, so I don't need it. Um, if anybody's in the Washington area and they want either a green egg or a trigger at like a really good price and you're actually serious about it, um, I'm down to hook you up. So I'll give an update on these steaks here in a little bit. The first ones, they were frozen for a while and then sat in the fridge for a few days. Um, so we'll see how they turn out. One last peek at them. I mean, they're looking good, that's for sure. It's already got like the smoke golden brown in here that was all stainless steel. Now it's a little golden, looks pretty sweet. But let me know, what do you guys like to cook with? Like I, I Traeger, I've been doing that, a lot of that lately. Um, it's just really hard to like screw stuff up. Like cooking salmon on a Traeger, it's almost impossible to screw up. Like you have to like try hard to screw stuff up. But let me know what you're cooking with. Bye. I'll, sh I'll show you the steaks here in a little bit. All right. You ate it all? Oh. That's on high, handle's not even hot. Sorry guys, I'm talking to the camera. Just Is it going? Me. Yep, just feel me cutting it in half. The final product. Kind of looks good inside. I'll do a taste test. Follow it up. That butter on there, oh my gosh. Mm. Perfect steak every time. And that's the best part about the Traeger. It's almost impossible to screw stuff up. Unless your name's Brian Fudge. <laughs> <laughs> oh.